Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day as usual. Today we're going to be talking about sugar once again and specifically about how exercise impacts how sugar is metabolized in the body. So in essence, why it's important to exercise regardless of whether you eat sugar or not. But I'm going to talk specifically about why exercise impacts your body's ability to metabolize and process sugar. So the first thing is Remember, um, I talked yesterday in the weight gain uh, video about how sugar is metabolized in the liver, right? So sucrose, that sucrose molecule is broken down into glucose and fructose, and the fructose molecule needs to go through the liver, and it's broken down into a bunch of different compounds, and eventually it enters the mitochondria in the liver, which are the workhorses, and it goes into, if you remember this from biology, the Krebs cycle or the TCA cycle. Now, the Krebs cycle is where the byproducts of uh, fructose enter and then are metabolized to produce ATP, which is the usable form of energy in our cells. So here's the cool thing about exercise, okay? Now, when I talk to you about how about 30% of fructose ends up being converted to fat or metabolized as fat, well, the reason for that, or part of the reason for that is because a large amount of fructose byproducts, pyruvate and acetyl-CoA and stuff, are, are there's too much of that to be processed in the liver. There's too much of that to go into the Krebs cycle, so there's an overabundance of that. So the Krebs cycle can only work at a certain rate, right? So, so imagine if you're like a factory worker and you're working on the line, so you got your conveyor belt coming by, you know, you got one calculator, another calculator, another calculator, and so forth, right? That's a normal pace. But what happens if you what happens if you had like one calculator, two calculator, three calculator, four calculator, and it just kept piling up and piling up, you wouldn't be able to handle it. And it's the same thing that happens in the Krebs cycle in the liver with this abundance of sugar. So here's the cool thing about exercise. Exercise has been shown to speed up the Krebs cycle. So it literally, it's almost like you're on a bike and you're speeding up the wheel. That's exactly what exercise does to the Krebs cycle, which means that your liver can now process more sugar. Now that's awesome, and that's a very, very cool thing. That's one reason, I mean, out of all the reasons why we should all be exercising, that's one reason you probably have never heard, but you've heard it here first, my friends. All right, so that's the first reason why it's very important to exercise in general, and specifically if you're eating sugar, right, or during Halloween, right? That's why you should be running from house to house as opposed to walking from house to house. So the second reason, which may be a little bit more well-known, is that exercise has the same effect that insulin does in the blood, okay? So remember how insulin, it, um, here's a cool way of thinking about insulin. Insulin is like your cool friend who has all the ins to the clubs. You know, if, you, if, you go in, if, you, if you're into clubbing, I'm not into clubbing anymore, it's, that's a long time ago, but remember those days where you try to go into a club and you get this like long lineup, and it, only if you were a VIP, you'd get bypassed the line and get in free, no problems. Well, that's kind of what insulin is like. Insulin is like your cool VIP friend who gets you into these clubs, no problem. And in this case, the clubs are your cells. And the cells have different transporters that you know, allow uptake of different uh, molecules. And for instance, glucose enters the muscle cells via a GLUT4 transporter, okay? So this GLUT4 transporter is like the bouncer of the club. And if insulin is not with you, that bouncer is not letting you in. Okay, so you're not getting inside the cell. But here's the cool thing about exercise. Exercise is just like another Rico Suave VIP cool friend. When you exercise, you stimulate the GLUT4 transporters, you stimulate that, that bouncer to come to the door and say, hey, come on in, it's all good, okay? So insulin and exercise almost have the exact same effect at the cellular level with respect to uptake of blood sugar. And that's why for diabetics and people with blood sugar issues, it's recommended to exercise very often, okay? Daily walking, you know, a minimum, uh, as a minimum. So that's two very important reasons it's important to exercise with respect to sugar. Now, I should also mention that the intensity of the exercise is very important. So the more intense you exercise, the faster you speed up that TCA or that Krebs cycle, which is going to enable you to process more sugar. And that's probably, the reason for that is probably because as your body uses more sugar, it's good, it might need more sugar coming in, 
and therefore it knows that the liver is going to have to process more. Okay. So intense exercise is the key, guys. Uh, it doesn't matter what your fitness level is; it's all relative. Okay. So if you've never worked out before, intensity for you, like a really intense exercise for you, might be walking uphill. For somebody else, it might be sprinting uphill with a tire chained behind them. Okay, so it's all relative based on your fitness level. But what I wanted to do in this video is show you two lesser known reasons that it's important that you exercise from a kind of cellular metabolism perspective. Because you know we all know about exercise and its ability to burn fats and all this kind of stuff. But I wanna go deeper with you. And if you like this kind of stuff, you're gonna love what I have coming for you in February of 2012. Okay, so I know I'm, I'm kind of keeping you waiting for like four months. But believe me, February, you like write this down, okay? Jot, like take out your calendar and jot down the beginning of February. I believe it's February 7th when this is, you know, where we're totally, we're gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be incredible. Anyways, mark down February 7th on your calendar. It's gonna be an incredible, I mean, forget about Christmas, forget about New Year's. February 7th is the day you wanna be looking forward to. So, Anyways, in the meantime, I have another great video coming for you tomorrow, which uh, we'll be talking about food labels and some sneaky sugar tricks that you need to be aware of. For instance, this is a Trident gum, and I'm going to talk about this and some other kind of Halloween candies and their hidden sugars. They're not even their hidden sugars, but they're overtly, you know, open on the food label sugars. Okay, so um, again, let me know what you think. Post a comment below this uh, this video. We have the comment section figured out, I think. I know we had an issue on the blog, uh, but we've worked on it and we've kind of cleaned it up. So yeah, I'm gonna stop for now. Have a great day. Let me know what you think below this video and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.